This is exercise 11a, getting to know up just as top. Up a four, just down from three. And in this exercise, we'll be using uh, the first our toolbox tool, namely to uh, called dissolve. And um, it's, a, it's one of the first spatial tools that we will be learning. And spatial tools are extremely useful. Okay, uh, this is the data for level A. I'm going to open and as you see, these are different tracts of land for Canada. Um, but, and now you see on the left hand side, these tracts are divided up into five different groups into different lease IDs um, and each lease ID has many different color guides and that's confusing and we don't want all the data so we want to dissolve all the data uh, of one lease ID group into one and uh, show you how to do that. First let's look at the data. It's always good to look at the data first. You just have two and as you see here um, we have lots of different polygons. Um, in total, we have 1,405 polygons, and we have different features. This ID looks like A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, the value of uh, of the scan, the value per meter, the scan ID, the shape length, the shape area. And we want to group all of these by the lease ID. So, how do we do that? and close the table. So as I said, step five, start Arc Toolbox. And you start by Arc Toolbox very simply by clicking on the Arc Toolbox icon. It takes a few seconds. Arc Toolbox is a very um, a very large program. And you can do many things with Arc Toolbox, including uh, data management tools. Special. Okay, okay that's uh, Arc Toolbox. We want to go to data management tools and then to generalization, which means going from specific to generalized data. And the only tool there is dissolve. And then double click on dissolve and up, up pops up the dissolve window. First, we want to choose the input feature. There's only one input feature. Open the summary layer, it stands. That's pretty easy. Choose. Since the beginning of time, there you go. And the second is output feature class. Um, stands dissolve is a you know is a is a good name. It's descriptive, but I want to have a better name. And that's just uh, releases. So that this will show up here, and it'll be called releases. The dissolve fields that we want to dissolve just one. We just want to dissolve it. Um, on the release ID. And, um, and furthermore, we want to uh, do some statistics. Then we scan value. And what do we want in scan value? Well, you can do different things to scan value. You can, you can sum it, you can look for the mean, or the min, or the max. And in our case, we want to sum it which means all of the values will be added together rather than taking the average or the minimum or the maximum for a range we we'll just take the sum of the reality okay that should be finished okay haha ha. it already exists that's why I've done it before I'll call it these two then it takes just a few moments for it to um, and now you see that the um, that the that the uh, uh, stands has been dissolved. If you if you get rid of releases, you see that you do not destroy the layer stands. You simply um, dissolve it and group them together. We're going to open the attributes table to make sure it works correctly. And as you see, yeah, we have the land uh, polygons have been grouped, dissolved by release ID, and their stem values uh, have been summed, they've been added up. 
and that's it. Go ahead and save your data uh, and move on to exercise 11B.